I've had a bunch of star pickets stored in the corner of my lean-to for the last few years and I've wondered what I could make from them. I've decided to make some shop stools as the ones I have are past their best. They were thrown together in a couple of hours one afternoon as my mates were coming over to watch the footy and I didn't have enough seats. That was a fair few years ago and they've been going ever since but they're falling apart so let's get started on making new ones. The star pickets will be used for legs and they have what I'll call fins. There's three of them and the one of them is wider than the other two and I'll place that wider one facing towards the inside of the stool. I'm setting the saw to 10 degrees and then trimming the end off the posts and then cutting them to length. I need six legs as I'm making two three-legged stools, so I'll set a stop with a magnet to get them all the same length. In a recent video, I was asked a few times why I put something between the stop and the workpiece. If I did put the stop directly next to the post, when the cut finishes, the post will get wedged between the cut-off disc and the stop and will more than likely get thrown towards the wall. To make the legs a bit more stylish, I'll cut a taper on the inside fin. To help hold the legs in position, I made these blocks with the blade angled over on the table saw. They didn't take too long to cut and they turned out fairly neat, but I will clean them up on the belt grinder. I thought I'd clean the rust off now and to help hold them, I've installed a vise on my workbench. In my last video I offered a bundle of my plans and I thought I'd extend that offer in this video. It includes seven of my plans at 78% off. Whether you're a beginner or a weekend hobbyist, these plans were designed to be easy to follow along. Simply click the link in the description below before this offer of 78% off expires and you'll be able to access my woodworking seven plan bundle. And as always, thanks for your support. That's the legs prepared, so next I'll make a couple of steel discs. These will be to weld the legs to and also for the seat to sit on. I don't have a compass to hold a marker pen, so I made a quick one from a strip of plywood. Next I'll mark out the leg positions. I start by scribing a circle and then splitting that into six equal segments. I'll weld the legs on next and to help with that I've made a simple jig off camera. It'll hold the leg upright in one direction and at 10 degrees in the other. After I clamp it to the jig, I just line up the inside fin of the leg to one of the markings and to the edge of the circle. For now, I'm just tack welding them and I'll fully weld them later on.
The legs need some rails to strengthen them, so I'll make those next and I'll do that from 12mm round bar. They need a slot in one end and I thought the best way to do that was to drill a hole to define the one end of the slot. My setup is a little over the top but it does keep them consistent. I could cut the slots on the mill or even with the angle grinder but I've decided to do them on the bandsaw. To keep them upright I'm using one of my mini clamps and using the drill bit to eyeball where 90 degrees off the bench is. The clamp just happens to be the same thickness as the bar so I can flip it over and cut the other side of the slot without unclamping it. The inside of the legs where the fins meet have an internal radius so I need to slightly open up the end of the slots. The rails are slightly too long so I'll mark them and cut them to final length and even though it was never the plan they would have actually looked quite good welded in this position too. Before I weld them in place I'm grinding a small 60 degree bevel onto the ends. Next I need to add a footrest which will also be made from 12mm round bar. The first thing I'll do is make a plywood template and then I'll bend the bar on the fly press. I've cut the bar with a couple of extra inches on each end and I've done that because I won't get a good curve near the ends and I can just cut those sections off afterwards. I'll gradually work up to the curve I need by adjusting the stop on the top of the fly press and then keep checking them next to the template. It's nearly there, it just needs one more go. That fits really well so next I'll remove the small pieces of rail so I can weld the footrest directly to the legs. I reckon they're starting to look pretty good. The last thing I'll do other than the seats is to add some feet.
Now that the feet are tacked on, I can start fully welding the whole stool. Definitely not the best welding I've ever done, but with a bit of grinding, they'll be fine. That really didn't take too long to do, so I think it was worth it. Next I'll paint the stools, but first I'll give them a wipe down with some turps. I'm spraying them with primer first, and then they'll get two coats of top coat. I did think about filling in the holes with a weld, and I asked the question on Instagram, most responses were for leaving the hole, so that's what I've done. I think either way would have looked good. Let me know what you would have done and how you would have finished the stools. I decided to change the colour. It's not that I didn't like the colour, I just don't think they look like they belonged in the workshop. But before I do that, I'll just drill some holes for mounting the seat first. While the paint's drying, I'll get on with the seeds and for those, I'm using this black waffle. For the finish I'll give them two coats of hard wax oil which is pretty much my finish on most projects these days. I'll fix the seats to the stools now even though I have only put one coat of hard wax oil on but I will put the other coat on after I finish the video. <coughs> I reckon they came out pretty cool considering they came from rusty old fence posts. Let me know what you think and how you may have used them. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.